Hey guys, Professor Bill, Comic Book University, and Cosmic Ghost Rider, issue number four. All right. Um, it's funny that it, in here, he's, and, and, and the comic is very self-aware. Frank at one point says, why am I surrounded by two of you Thanoses again? Why does this always seem to be the case? So I'm digging that. I, I like that. Um, Donnie Cates is the writer on this. Dylan Burnett is the artist. Antonio Fabella is the color artist. VC's Clayton Cowles is on letters. Jeff Shaw and Antonio Fabella is, are doing cover art uh, and to do Superlog, Vax Lim uh, from Battle Lines Variant. Okay, cool. Did the uh, variant cover art. Somebody, uh, I don't know if it was necessarily an attack. It's a weird kind of attack, attacking somebody by text. But somebody said something on um, my This Week in Comics. Hey, you didn't do the Battle Lines variant. I can't show you guys all of everything. Like, it's just, I, come on, man. Who, who shows you every single variant cover and whatnot of every single book? If there's something, like I said, if there's something that I missed and you guys want to see it, Point it out and maybe put a link in the comments instead of, you know, you didn't show this and this. There's only but so much that I can do. I'm one guy. All right. Um, put a link to the picture in the, the comments, man. Anyway, um, boom, we got the, the future Punisher Thanos showing up and he's going to show he's going to take uh, Frank Castle into his world that he created based but not created, but this this world, this version of Earth where he just. He's like, look at this, man. Everything's peaceful and beautiful. It's, it's, it's gorgeous, isn't it? And Frank's like, what? How's this possible? We succeeded? Well, Cosmic Ghost Rider dies. He finally is able to come to peace with himself and die. So that was, he's, I'm sure he's excited about that. He's exhilarated. But in the interim, you know, they go back in time. And you see that Frank Castle is there with his wife, you know, like a different version. He's like, how is, how is any of this possible? And not a whole lot of it makes perfect sense. That's fine, though. It's not about making this book linear. This is a very non-linear book. Like, not just this comic. This title, Cosmic Ghost Rider. This is all over the place. It was never meant to be, oh, here, read this straight through. Maybe it's made for you to think about. Maybe it's like, don't think about it too much. Just enjoy the freaking story. I'm good with either version. Because this is a really good writing. Uh, one really cool part in here. Like, this is the only other part that's really particular to mention. We get to see Thanos' version, uh, Punisher Thanos' version of Gotham City. That's right. I said it. And it's freaking awesome. It is freaking awesome. Like, you see the blimps and everything. And as a guy from Jersey, because, you know, that's where Gotham City is located. Um, awesome. Awesome sauce. <laughs> this was a very fun comic book. You Again, you don't have to get too into it. Or you can, you can make some serious headcanon with it. And, uh, and and just make your own world, your own idea of how all of these worlds came to place. Now, this is the penultimate issue. We're going to be ending in the next issue. Uh, I'm okay with that. Uh, this is a really great book. But right now, like, Frank is so distraught. He's not making sense. He himself is realizing that he's not making sense. He's contradicting himself, which what that tells me about the psychology of Frank at this point is that Frank is realizing that he had an end goal, but he never actually expected to reach it. He never truly expected to reach it. He expected his whole life he was going to be trying to fight to reach that goal and die before it happened because he never had a true understanding of how he was planning on implementing that end goal. That is probably more disheartening than anything else in this book. Um, but that's... That's the book, man. Like, for me, that's what I derived out of this book. Loved it. It's miserably sad, but I loved it. I want to know, seriously, I want to know what you guys think about uh, where this book is trying to go with the psychology of Frank, because that's kind of crucial at this point. Guys, I'm up. Uh, no dogs were killed in, in the making of this video. <laughs> Professor Bill, Comic Book University. Class dismissed.